Hello everyone and uh, welcome to part two of the character head modeling in 3ds Max. Um, we're gonna get started with the head and um, hopefully you have all seen the part one video and are ready with the setup. If not, then I highly recommend you go and watch that first um, because there might be some hard keys I'm gonna use here and if you haven't seen part one, you might get confused. So, okay, let's get started. I'm in 3ds Max and the way I model my character heads are using a box. So I'm gonna select the box and um, under the creation method, I'm gonna pick cube and I'm going to turn on my 3D snaps, right click on the 3D snaps to get to the grid and snap settings and make sure you are snapping it to the grid points. Let's close this dialog <clears throat> and uh, in perspective view uh, in the world center I'm just going to click and drag to create a cube and then I'm going to give it some segments say 2 by 2 by 4 when you're done uh, just right click anywhere in the viewport uh, to get out of the create uh, mode and I'm just gonna do a zoom extent all so the box is centered in all the viewports and in the perspective right click on the label and turn on the edged faces uh, the next thing I want to do is go to my modify command panel open up the modifier list scroll down until you see a modifier called uh, spherify i'm just going to apply that what it does just like the name says it spherifies your uh, selected object and we now have a nice round shape uh, for the head and then i'm going to right click and you probably have noticed right now that i changed my color scheme for the quad menu uh, you can do that in the advanced settings of the quad uh, I was talking about in the part one and I also changed the, the font of the menu items because I thought since I'm doing this video for YouTube it might be easier for you to read uh, so what I'm gonna do here is go convert to um, editable poly and now I have a editable poly object and then go to the polygon mode in the sub object in the front view select the half side of it and delete it uh, this way let's get out of the polygon mode uh, this way what we are gonna do is work only on the half side and the other half would, would be um, exactly the same so we can um, you know uh, decrease our uh, actual work time on the object so the way I do this is I apply a, another modifier called uh, symmetry and you just open up the modifier list and throw in the symmetry. Sometimes depending on the axis, uh, the direction of the symmetry axis, um, you have to flip it in order to see the object back. So if, if you're not able to see the object after applying the modifier, uh, just put a check here uh, where it says flip. Uh, once done, I'm going to go to the editable poly mode uh, in the edge level or in the vertex level. And notice when I do that, um, I'm back one level in the stack, so I'm not seeing what the symmetry is doing. So what you can do is turn on the show end results. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with that. If not, then, um, you know. Um, what it does is basically it shows you everything uh, it calculates all the modifiers on the object and shows you the final results uh, in the viewport regardless of which level you are working on uh, inside your modifier stack so right now I'm in the vertex or edge mode and I'm still able to see um, my object after the symmetry uh, has been applied to the uh, to the object so with that, I'm ready to push and pull some vertices and start giving my head a shape. I'm sorry, the character's head a shape, not my head. Uh, my head isn't perfectly shaped, you know. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, right click on the left viewport 
uh, to make it active and then I'm going to maximize it and we can just do a marquee selection uh, with these vertices right click select the move tool and notice my snaps are still on that's why I'm getting this blue line and it's trying to snap it to some grid point so uh, uh, without letting my mouse uh, left mouse button go I'm just going to right click to undo uh, probably the best feature in 3ds max uh, I hope they had it for Photoshop also um, so first thing let's turn off the 3d snap which I forgot to do uh, because we don't need it right now and now I'm ready to move these guys back like that and just zoom out a little bit select these guys here um, and then move them down uh, do a selection here move this guy down selection here move it up selection here move it down selection here move it up and basically all I'm doing is selecting these vertices and moving them in a in a position and trying to give a uh, shape uh, to the head so um, it's, it's pretty straightforward um, some people like to have a um, viewport background image um, a reference image uh, for the <clears throat> for the modeling uh, which is nice it's always good to have references you know and uh, this way you know what you're trying to model um, but for, for the basic shape um, I don't tend to do that um, might be a bad habit but uh, this is just the way I work and uh, uh, by no means uh, this is uh, the best practice but you know I'm okay without it so uh, it's totally up to you what you want to do with it so uh, all I'm doing here is just giving it a shape in, um, in the left viewport and um, once we're done I'm going to minimize it and activate my front viewport and maximize that <clears throat> and uh, move these guys a little bit closer like that select all these three move them inwards like that and then go back to my perspective view and voila we are done we have a basic shape of the head and we can start adding more details to it um, some of you might notice that uh, it gives you weird shading on the surface uh, so to get rid of that what I usually do is um, I go to the polygon mode I select all the polygons and then you uh, scroll till you see the uh, rollout called polygon properties oops lost my selection under polygon properties uh, where you assign the smoothing groups uh, click on clear all and this way it got rid of all the smoothing groups which were working on the object and when you deselect uh, all those weird shading is gone and each uh, polygon is a um, displaying with the single color scheme and um, it's like a hard edge polygon and we have our basic head shape ready and the next part we're gonna add some details to it so go ahead and get out of the polygon mode and save your file as um, uh, character head part one thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>